Henry is in the lineup tonight, and he's with us now here on Sabres Live. Uh, what's your hot take of the preseason, Henry? Uh, hot take, probably, I don't know. Probably go just get better day after day. <laughs> I, <think laughs> I love I'll, it. Yeah, I, I'll, I'll probably go with that. A standard preseason hot take for the ages. I'll, I'll ask you this hot take. Um, you obviously play with Owen Power, and uh, his helmet's always crooked. Does it bother you when you look over to him that his helmet's always a little tilted? Well, end of the last year, I, I told him that this is NHL. I, I, I think you can you can pick that kind of helmet that doesn't stick like that. But <laughs> I, I probably hear the summer he can can figure it out yet. But we'll talk with the bully. Yeah, Maybe we can fix oh, it. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> It's well, I'm just like, like your attention to detail. It must drive you crazy when you look at him. Well, he was by the bench this morning during the practice, and you guys were doing a drill with three guys high and trying to, like, I think it was more for the forwards than you guys. Yeah. But he was digging for a puck, and he looked up, and I thought he got hit or something because his helmet was crooked. There's nobody around him, so it just it sits like that on his head. But anyway, yeah. um, how has it been like a full camp with Owen? Because he came in last year at the end of the season, played eight games. Yeah. You were his partner, but now you got a full camp with him, the chemistry and the development of the pair? Yeah, I mean, just try and go step by step to get better every day. Yesterday I watched some video first two games what we can do better so I think that's that's the main thing and uh, especially after the summer you or I, at least I feel like a little, a, little, a little rusty so I need to get my game back on and I, I think he he needs to get his game back on then we mm -hmm. can you know pair up and you, you know do things together but I mean yeah just we just need to talk a lot together watch some video and just step by step just get better together and just understand that that the good chemistry doesn't come like and overnight it comes like for for weeks and weeks so we mm -hmm. just want to get better is he easy to talk to out there or is he pretty quiet out there on the ice oh uh, i think he's getting a little bit more louder on the ice now I'm, I'm i'm a little bit pushing him to talk a little bit more as well sometimes may sometimes i don't i don't hear him maybe it's my fault sometimes too <laughs> but uh yeah i think he, he 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 wants to learn he wants to get better and just that kind of way just we will get great together mm -hmm. what about your role i look at i mean i'm not saying that's the top four but between yourself power darlene and samuelson mm -hmm. uh, you guys are all pretty young but you've been around the league now for a while and what about your role with the group of four and your leadership and the things that you can do how do you see that coming in this season uh, uh tough question yeah well, but uh i asked the tough yeah, i don't take yeah, notes i told yeah. you i'm writing it down so yeah uh i i probably feel it's more taking care of like defensive zone and just yep. kind of two-way game just be good with the puck make some solid plays and just take take some responsible in the pk as well i think i think we have a couple great guys in for a power play so uh i think that's the qb could be my role this year we talk so much about the power play because of the skill uh, that is on it. You've had some reps, obviously, here in the preseason, too. But the penalty kill that you just mentioned is, is, is maybe one of the bigger factors this year that has to be clearly a lot better than in the past. How do you, how, when there's always so much outside emphasis on the power play, wh what would you say is where, you know, your focus is on the penalty kill? Um, it, does it come down to a familiarity? Like once, once you get guys in defined penalty kill roles, that the trust comes with it and that's where the success comes from yeah i think so just getting to know each other the forwards know how to play with each other and the deep partners will get to know how to play with each other and like that way we can be like good foreman foreman <laughs> unit just be in the lanes having good sticks when we go when other d goes other d helps mm -hmm. being close and you know on those couple breaking points we can we can steal the puck and put it another way so uh is there an aggressive mindset to the penalty kill this year? Like, you, did you guys work on it or start doing video on the penalty kill to get ready for the season? Yeah, yeah, definitely. We watch before the games, just some clips from last year and what we can do better. Just, just probably those highlights from last year only. We're not like watching what we can do better. We're just watching those highlights, those moments where we do good. Okay. So we just need to do those. Those stuff. How's life with uh, Eric Comrie out on the ice? Since uh, you know the goaltender is important in all of this, uh, especially when we're talking about penalty kill and communication. Yeah, I mean, just 
I don't think I have played with him, but on the practice, feels good. Yeah. Feels good around him. He's a, he's a great guy. Good. Yeah, UPL looking good as well. So yeah. between Craig Anderson, Comrie, UPL, the way that it's been going, uh, do you feel, and I, maybe this sounds silly, but I used to have conversation with some guys, and they'd be like, hey, it's so easier when we know you're making the saves, right? Like when yeah. you know you're playing one-on-one, and you don't have to stress about, uh, is that going to be a squeaker in there? And I feel like the goaltending this uh, this preseason has been really good. So does it help you? Is, the, is there a mindset that you feel confident about what's happening behind you? Yeah, I feel so. Uh, I feel we have three really good goalies. Just give you that confidence that you don't have a stress about anything like, oh, could I go in? If it comes like two on two, it's like you don't have to stress about it. If it's a, like high, high slot shot or like wide shots you're not like you don't need to stress about that you, you just can't worry about your own stuff and just make it make sure that they don't have that great a chance or just take the puck away if the goalie gives up a bad goal do you remember this because you're minus one and i'm only saying this because the flyers were in town the other day good friend of mine danny briere is on their hockey department and all he keeps talking about is this game where we won 7-3 or something like that, and he was minus three because I gave up two bad goals. And I'm like, you still remember this this win, but you were minus three, right? And he goes, oh, yeah, I remember you went to play the puck behind the net and you gave it to whoever. So when there's a bad goal, and I'm not saying that happens, yeah. but do you remember it more and do you tease the goalies a little bit? Uh, some goals I remember and some, some goalies I tease you about it, but... Uh, not too much. I'm not thinking about that much. Like sometimes, yeah. like if if the goalie is having a bad game or something like that, maybe maybe then I'm a little bit more aggressive, a little bit more. I want to block a shot or yeah. that kind of stuff. But then I'm kind of out of my position sometimes too. So I feel it, it's it's good so you don't have to stress about your like just take doing the goalie stuff, yeah. right? So I mean, just stick in my own game and. Marty, I'm sure you know this. Henry's uh, a member of his own triple gold club, under 18 gold with Finland, under 20 gold, and world championship yes. gold. Um, but unfortunately, this time around, this summer, you were denied the opportunity to win gold once again. And I know it was difficult. It was a hometown opportunity yeah. for you. How did you come through that? For those of you you know didn't know, I mean, obviously yeah. you had a COVID test before and, and were unable to play. Um, how do you end up describing that whole turn of events? Oh, I mean, it was tough. It was tough because I was waiting for that after the last year ended. Here in Buffalo, just, you know, hometown, they have a new rink there. It was tough. And uh, what makes makes it really, really even more tougher, I just want to play in front of my friends and family. So mm -hmm. I thought that would be really cool to see my parents see play world back home and just grandparents i i thought that would be something will be like really big big for me but you know unfortunately got a covid before and just yeah it was it was tough times but after a couple of weeks it was fine at the same time you still see how dominant your home country is on the world stage yeah. I, I just the <laughs> To, how how would you describe the sense of pride that you have and your fellow countrymen have? You know, you you play here in North America. You probably hear endless about Canada and the U.S. And I'm sure you just sit there yeah. and go, yeah, but we are still right there. Yeah, and they won the Olympics too, right? <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, I'm very proud. I think we have a as a team feeling was a great game style. Just yeah. and everyone just buys it in. And I think that's the key. Yeah. Just, just a system, good system, and everyone just know their role. They accept that and just go, for, go going from there. You're wearing black today, black hat, black T-shirt, everything. Um, how excited are you that uh, the return of the goat head, the black and red and white and silver? Um, I mean, you were probably very, very, very young yeah. when we wore those uniforms here, and then it switched to you know the Sabres Navy, and now finally the. Uh, uh, the, the you know the royal or you know the royal blue whatnot. But uh, are you excited about to wear the new uniforms uh, for the? Uh, I think it's November twenty. It's the day before Thanksgiving anyway. It's okay. gonna be the first time. How are you excited about it? I'm really excited about. It. I think everyone in the locker room as well. There, are, so yeah, I'm looking for especially those games. But obviously there's one game. But I think it's just like something special, and I'm really really happy that our team is doing that kind of stuff. So. It's, 
looking forward to it. Well, so you're going to have to break, like, new gloves. You're yeah. going to have to have break black and red gloves yeah. and, you know, like shell in the pants. And maybe Owen Power will have a helmet that fits the black helmet. Yeah, maybe maybe it will fit better. Maybe the black one will be good. But <laughs> I don't think the pants or gloves will be issue. I like new gloves. Okay. okay. All right. Well, let's end on fashion hot takes then. What's the favorite Sabres jersey you have worn so far in your Buffalo career? So far, probably the gold and white jerseys in the 50s. The 50th. Yeah. 50, yeah. yeah. It seemed to resonate really with the group pretty pretty significantly. Heritage Classic was pretty special, too. Yeah. I thought those yeah. looked good. But I, I think the 50th was with the gold. And it was the first time the logo had that 3D look mm -hmm. to it, the shade and yeah, the really buffalo cool. and all of that. I thought that was really cool. All right. Off-ice fashion. What's your uh, what, what's the trend in fashion? Uh, I mean, I feel like sports has gone a little casual, right, as yeah. far as the entrance way into games. What are you like when it comes to that? Um, I'm pretty much just going comfort first style guy, but just, I don't know, really tough, tough question. You <laughs> probably ask from Dalin or Bjork or those guys, <laughs> those, those ones a little bit more, more fashion. Well, I mean, Duffer and I are wearing jeans. Yeah, I feel like kids like, don't wear jeans anymore. Do you those wear jeans at all? I, I wear jeans, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. I w wanted to make sure because I, I look at the guys coming in, it's always usually like, sweats and something very yeah. comfortable like jeans are out yeah. oh, but okay you're you're making me feel better this morning they're thank in. you they're still in henry good luck this season thank you for thank swinging you. by and uh and uh, we'll enjoy tonight thank you again thank you so much